Welcome to the BSN at JSL. This is our hall. This is our science lab. This is our computing lab. This is our library. We use salt almost every day in cooking, cleaning and agriculture. In total, we have more than 14,000 uses for salt. In coastal regions, there are big towns which are filled up with seawater. The sun evaporates the water, leaving salt crystals at the bottom. The process by which the solvent, which is a salt, is separated from the solution, which is the seawater, is called distillation. Distillation experiment. Equipment needed. Method. Add the salt and mix it until you can add no more. Link the two glasses with this thread so that the ends are well into the water. Between the two glasses and the hanging down thread, place the plate. Because the salt water rises along the thread by capillary action, the water evaporates from the cotton thread and from the plate where some droplets fall, leaving a salt which solidifies into crystals. This means that the molecules join together to form a particular geometric pattern. Not all water bodies have the same amount of salt. The saltiest seas are those where the rate of evaporation is low and the flowing water is very little. The Dead Sea actually is a lake. It contains 280 grams of salt for every kilogram of water because the rate of evaporation is low. And since the salt water is a dense solution compared to fresh water, anything and anyone can float in the Dead Sea even without swimming. Evaporation experiment. Equipment needed. Firstly, put the instant coffee in the bowl with hot water. Secondly, put the spoon over the bowl. Mmm, it's pure water! But why? Because the heat makes the water evaporate, not the coffee. Then the steam meets the surface of the spoon and it condenses into drops of pure water. Why do fish swim in salt water? Because pepper makes them sneeze. <laughs>